the business hub of Peta is a bustling metropolis of vendors, shops, merchants, pedestrians and lots of traffic. The Khan clock tower is the predominant landmark which you pass while entering the busy main street of Peta. Here at the intersection of this street and on 2nd Cross Street lies the distinctive and beautifully designed Jami Ul Alfa Mosque referred to by the locals as the Red Masjid, Ratupalliya or simply the Red Mosque. The construction of the mosque was commissioned in 1908 by a group of South Indian traders. The purpose was to facilitate prayer for the local Indian Moor community who needed to pray five times a day and for Juma prayers on Friday afternoon. The mosque's designer, Habibu Lebbe Saibo Lebbe, was an unlettered architect. Despite a lack of formal training, Saibo Lebbe's design for the Red Mosque is considered a masterpiece of architectural design and engineering. The Jami Ul Alfa Mosque was completed just a year later in 1909 and became an unusual and vibrant site in the neighborhood of Peta. Folklore says that in the early part of the 20th century, the mosque was clearly visible to sailors when approaching the port of Colombo. The mosque was originally referred to as the Al Masjid Al Jamiul Alfa and is now simply called the Jami Ul Alfa Mosque. The mosque's Stunning architecture, characterized by its red and white designs, were inspired by the Indo-Islamic style, which combines elements of Indian and Islamic architecture, also referred to as Indo-Saracenic architecture. This style was popular in India during the British colonial era during the 19th century. It is said that the architect's inspiration of colour and shape was derived from seeing the inside of a sliced pomegranate fruit. The mosque's exterior features a series of towering minarets and domes, while the interior is adorned with intricate arabesque designs and geometric shapes. The bricks of the mosque are individually hand-painted and incorporate the distinctive red and white patterns which are familiar in Peta. The patterns incorporate spiral, stepped, striped or checked designs. There are Arabic phrases embellishing the exterior wall with expressions such as God is great. The mosque can be entered through the main street and the second cross street which runs perpendicular. The main street entrance leads one to a foyer and an impressive main door. This door is embellished with engraved calligraphy and art traditional to the Moor community. The main prayer hall, which can accommodate thousands of worshippers, is particularly breathtaking with its high ceilings, stained glass windows and ornate chandeliers. The beautiful tiles on the wall and floors of the main hall are all handmade and imported from Iran. Over the years, the Jami Ul Alfa Mosque has become an important landmark in Colombo and a symbol of Sri Lanka's diverse cultural heritage. It is a testimony to the country's long and rich history of religious and ethnic harmony. Colombo later needed this mosque to be bigger to serve the increasing number of its Muslim inhabitants. In 1975, it was expanded with the help of the Haji Omar Trust that acquired more land for the mosque. Though originally meant to accommodate around 1,500 people, today prayer in congregation sees several thousand attending the call to prayer. On Fridays, 
one may see over 15,000 worshippers attending Jumma prayers. The Muazin makes the call to prayer, called by giving the Adhan usually a few minutes prior to the start of Jumma. The Prophet Muhammad said, Friday is a day of forgiveness to those who regret their mistakes and seek forgiveness from Almighty Allah. One of the few signs of true believers of Islam is that whenever they hear the name of Allah, their souls get enlightened and they feel closer to their Lord. So Muslims go to mosques on the call of Adhan, leaving their businesses or employment behind because they believe they will succeed in their professions or careers only when they first thank and worship the creator of this world. The remarkable trait of the mosque lies in its one-of-a-kind architecture that combines Islamic structural style with a touch of colonial English. Coupled with its vibrant candy cane colors and pomegranate shaped domes, the mosque remains a lively and important tourist landmark in Colombo. The Jamiul Alfa Mosque remains a powerful symbol of unity and resilience in the multi ethnic neighborhood and business district of Peta. It serves as a reminder of the importance of religious and cultural diversity and a landmark of traditional Islamic architecture in Sri Lanka.